Good morning. We are on our way to Paris. Welcome to another vlog. Uh, we're going, leaving from Vienna right now and headed towards Charles de Gaulle Airport. Um, just waiting, obviously, for our flight. And then we will see what happens when we get there. Today's Coke is hashtag life goal. Okay, now we're on a plane. <laughs> Jack and Joe. Doctor, 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 Ducky, doctor, Joe. We're slightly delayed, but not that kind. But not that kind. Uh, well, you're saving lives, just in a different it's way. Really in a different way. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long, long-term researchers. Um, so we are delayed like 20 minutes, but NBD, Paris will still be there. It'll be fine. That city doesn't wake up till noon. Anyway. Yeah, that's true. It's totally fine. Um, but we'll be there shortly. I'm on a bus, yo. We got a, a private bus. <laughs> that's Kathy. <laughs> we got a private bus, I guess, to take us to our hotel because there's so many of us. Um, and then I think we're gonna get wandered around a little bit and then we're on our own. Pandora says that I'm gonna be on a boat, yo. So I'm excited about that. Okay, we have arrived at our hotel in Paris. My hotel room has like a foyer with a door that can close. And there's the door to the room. So I can shut this. And I think it helps hide hallway noise or keep in the warmth. And then this is the room. As sparsely populated as it is. <laughs> um, and that's it. <laughs> uh, there's a little closet there, and a desk, and um, a cruise ship bathroom. This is what I would call a cruise ship bathroom. Um, and then a little, I get to have a window, which will get closed at night because it's too loud. It's obviously crazy loud here. Um, here's the view of the street. And that's that. This is something you never want to see in your hotel room. We actually had a member of our crew like just say nope and go down to another hotel, the Marriott down the street, which I find very amusing.
out, yo. I got my girls with me. You're on camera, fluffing your hair. We're Texas go. Kathy's here, Pandora's here. She's always in the loo. She's a loo kind of girl. She likes to tell her. I feel like we should call her Lou and not Texas. Uh, yeah, we're um, on a Sen River cruise. Eiffel Tower is behind me. That thing is right there. I would love to be doing bed chats, but I can't <laughs> because this room makes uh, my camera just like flicker. I don't know. Do you guys see this? That's my room. I don't know what it is about the light in there, but <laughs> it's just not good for, for filming. <sighs> I'm having a rough day, guys. <laughs> I'm in this weird hallway. Um. Yeah, I'm having a really rough day. We had, um, we got to Paris. We went for a long walk. That was nice. Um, we went on the river cruise and that was really nice to get to hang out with people and stuff. Um, but a few of us are pretty upset about the state of this tour, obviously. Um, uh, we have one girl like completely melting and down about the state of her room and rightfully so, especially for how much this tour was. This Hotel is very well located, but honestly, there's hotels like just down the street that are not very much more expensive that are significantly nicer. Um, I'll put a picture. I just showed. I showed you my room tour, and I'll show you a picture of what the hotel website says the rooms look like here, so you can see it. And no, not even close. So. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not excited about this accommodation. Like I think it kinda sucks. Like I paid forty five hundred dollars for this tour. And so far there's no tour on my tour. We can't even have time to stop and take pictures. We were supposed to get shown around today and there was like running. I don't even know how to explain all this stuff. Ugh. She she ran ahead to, to show us like stuff, but a lot of the people on the tour are older and they can't keep up and so by the time that they got to where she was, they, like, she'd already given out all the information and scooted along. And if you ask her, she will definitely repeat it. She's not malicious in any way. It's just, I guess she's really over-optimistic. She's a really nice person, you guys, but this store sucks. Like, it's awful. And, like, it was 3.30 and we, and we haven't, we hadn't even been given an opportunity to get water or food or anything and, and we all, le we left at 9 so everybody was breakfasted before 9. So, <laughs> yeah, um, she didn't even think about lunch. We had to stop and be like, hey, you need to stop going. We need to stop and get food. It was like 3.30. It was crazy. And then we basically got sandwiches and then had to run and eat them while she showed us stuff. But we, sh we didn't even really get shown stuff. We just got shown around our local area so that we could orient ourselves. And then we were all supposed to go to the fabric district and we just turned around and she was gone. 
So a bunch of us were just like, never mind, we're just gonna walk to our boat tour. We were gonna cab it before, get there faster somehow, but it was like an hour walk down the Seine, a couple miles um, to the Eiffel Tower where we got on the tour boat. So we just decided to do that instead <laughs> and not try to follow her because that was just, it's just too much. Um, but this is recurrent, like we, there's no tour guides, it's her and sometimes it's not even really a tour, it's just her favorite stuff and I'm like, no, I want an actual tour. Like I want a tour guide from the city to come show me the city, especially Paris, like we should be on a bus looking at stuff, <laughs> going all over the place, seeing all the sights, you know, doing Paris, but that's not even on the schedule. So. I'm having a rough day. A bunch of us are having a pretty rough day. I'm not happy. And I was very seriously considering not costuming tomorrow. Tomorrow's my one costuming day, aside from Bath, the one that I made the 18th century for, and Lynn made me a hat for. And I was very much considering not costuming because we have to be up and ready and costumed by 9 a.m. to go. This was supposed to be a dinner thing. It turned into a lunch thing. It's far away, and we were going to have to take the frickin' metro during rush hour in 18th century wigs and pannier and then get on a train and then go to a bus and we're just like none of us want to ruin our dresses on the metro and like try to deal with that so she did hear us when we complained about it and so um one of the girls lisa actually said something to her and so she is getting us caps like she's not unresponsive guys like i'm not i'm not here to trash her She's a nice person, she's really sweet. Um, I just think she doesn't understand that she's got a bunch of old people with her and we need time to catch up and to walk slowly and to take pictures and like to be able to enjoy the cities that we're in, which just doesn't happen. And also we would like more stuff to do that is organized and time together that we're doing stuff. So not just like everywhere we go, we just sort of get dropped off and separated. <laughs> there are things that we're doing, like tomorrow we're going to the Chateau. Um, but every time we're even on a in a in a tour thing, we all sort of separate out because there's slow people and fast people and whatever. And so I don't know. It's not worth the forty five hundred dollars I paid for this trip. That's for sure. Like I could have done all this by myself. Like every single thing. We were supposed to go like we go behind the scenes and like look at museum collections that aren't open to the public like sort of things and get to like peek into things none of that's happening i don't know i'm having a rough time guys i knew this tour was gonna be rough like you've seen the videos coming <laughs> of me going i'm not sure about this um and so it's just at the point where like i kind of had a meltdown today i mean i didn't like physically melt down and cry or anything <laughs> i was just like i'm sort of done like i just want to go home or I want to stay in Paris, but I just don't want to be on the story anymore. I almost separated out. I almost got another hotel room. I almost did in costume. So luckily the other people in the tour, in the tour group are super sweet and they like convinced me to stay and like go to this thing tomorrow and to put my costume on and whatever. And um, yeah, so I'm going to try. But if it sucks after tomorrow, because that'll, like the, I need to get dressed and it'd be easier to be here. If this hotel is crappy tomorrow, tonight, like if I, the bed's really hard. If I can't sleep here, I'm just gonna move to a different hotel and I'll meet them later. Um, Cause everything after this is just gravy. So <sighs> yeah, it's a rough day, so. I did get to see the Eiffel Tower sparkle and I did get to go on the river cruise and we saw Notre Dame. Oh, I, I didn't film that because we were sitting on a boat and it, like you could only really see the tippy top of it, but you could see that it was like gone. So that was rough. Um, so yeah, weird. I hope tomorrow's better. That's all I can say is just I hope tomorrow's better. Oh, and I wanted to, I wanted to edit my vlog last night and put up Vienna for you guys, but that was not happening. I was super tired and I'm really tired right now, so I'm gonna go to bed. I'm not even, I'll catch up on editing when I catch up on editing. <laughs> but um, I have to get up early to do this costuming stuff, so maybe I'll do it tomorrow night or something. But <sighs> here's where we're at. This is the reality of the situation. Would not recommend, <laughs> just wouldn't recommend this store. It's like not, 
it's not fun. I am not having a great time. A bunch of people that are here with me are not having a really great time. I mean, we're having a good time on our own, but it's not worth the tour. Like, we could have just come here as a group together had we known each other, and now we do, so maybe we can. But, yeah. Sigh. I'm gonna to continue to try out, try to have fun anyway, and to not let this get me like ruin my trip. But it's kind of ruining my trip. <laughs> like it's not fun, and I don't love it, and I don't really know what to do about it. And I feel like I don't know what else to do other than tell her like you have to wait for us and slow down, and we need to take pictures and like stuff like that. Like. That's all I can do. I told her like tomorrow we need to have a million hours for photo shoots because we're all in costume and that's just how it's gonna be. Like we need the time. So she's like, oh yeah, we'll have the time. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go to bed. I hope it's better tomorrow. That's that's how I'm feeling. I hope it's better tomorrow. We're down here and here's Pandora looking amazing as she does all the time. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot my necklace for that. Oh no! <laughs> I guess like, I don't really need it. I my tucker. I need some serious pinning tucker help. What's, oh, I brought my pins. Modesty is an issue here with me. No, no! Give the boobins. And here's me. <laughs> This is what it looks like when you smash customers into your car. <laughs> <laughs> I am a mess because I did not expect to get in a car and like then my hat went bye bye. Doing costumers on a train. Costumers on a train. <laughs> you guys look awesome. <laughs>
This guy is a mystery fig leaf also. It's like it's wrapped up in a bow. It's in a fig leaf. And we're, we're keep, we keep trying to figure out where the closure is on that because we don't know how that stays on.
also my room is sturdy, so I can't do bed chat. So I'm just gonna stand in this hallway because it's not nearly as sturdy. Uh, so today was better than it has been, which is awesome. Um, we went and costumed, and we went uh, to the chateau, uh, which I can't pronounce, <laughs> so I'm not going to try. Okay, I think it's called Voulez vos Comte. It's spelled like that. Anyway, it was fun and we had a really good time and uh, Kathy and Zach and I had a little photo shoot. I will put in some of the better photos here while I am talking to you guys. Um, so that you can see what happened there if you're not on Instagram. Anyway, um, we had a pretty good day. I'm sort of really burnt out. We got back at like five and I'm like, I was gonna go out with some girls to go get dinner and sit and watch the Eiffel Tower blink again, but I'm kind of getting a headache and a bunch of other people are talking about just going to forage for food at like a shop and then bring it here and have a picnic. And I'm like, that sounds better and have a mellow night and like maybe uh, get to edit and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna go for that option. I, ju I should take it easy on myself. Hashtag self-care, <laughs> even for extroverts, we really need it too. Um, anyway, so there might be more tonight of that, but just in case, I thought I would do bed chats now. So to tell you that I had a better day and you guys saw a lot of the footage, so hopefully that was awesome for you. Okay, we're going to the fabric district. This here's Pandora. I'm gonna link her down below for you uh, if you would like to check her out. She does some amazing, amazing stuff on her Instagram. Highly recommend. Um, so we're gonna go get fabric now. I'm gonna go see what there is to see in Paris as far as fabric stores. I feel spoiled that I get to go to so many huge cities and go to their fabric district. So, and then when I get back to London, I gotta hook up. We're gonna go to fabric stores there. Velvet. Channeled velvet. Generally that. I mean, and stripes are fine, but you also need to then know width of stripes. Yeah, I mean, that stripe is just not appropriate. Yeah. It's, it's, well, I mean, some can be quite wide, but that's just far too Okay. I'm 
It's tr it, and it is harder doing it on a small sample because you haven't got the weight of a full garment. So you're catching uh, that there. More spaces but then you're stitching sort of then above that silk line, slight to one side. Exactly. And what you can then do is exactly. poke through oh, and then up okay. and then <laughs> to here. So, so you're doing the same stitch but in one move. <laughs> Instead of going yeah. back Here's again. Your four grand, right? <laughs> and then <laughs> there. That's it. So this is why it would have been easier if I brought the wax. <laughs> I, I just wish I wasn't so enough. I wish I had known because I have a whole bunch of it in my room. Yeah. No, no, no. I've got a fair bit. I don't know what I did with it. And then it's just over. My psychiatrist is a great seamstress, so she probably can help me out. See, so it, on this side it looks like a fell stitch, but on this side you've got little top stitches. Okay. Um, and there's supposed to be little bitty top stitches, right? Some and some. Uh, preferably yes. Um, but I mean, just for demonstration purposes, it's easy just to be quick, so it should be. Out. If you're a tailor. In. Oh. Out. In. Ah. Because this isn't waxed. <laughs> yeah. Wax so, the threads, kids. Yeah. Watch those threads. Yeah, that's what yeah. happened to me. Yeah. But I've ruined your sample now. That's okay. <gasps> Selling it on eBay for even more money. Yeah. Pins and tailoring ruined yes. sample. There you go, fixed Have it. Sign it. <laughs> so currently we are in a class that's being taught by Zach and we are learning a bunch of stitches, uh, particularly the buttonhole stitch. So that's what's gonna happen today. I'm gonna take video where I can, but I think it's a hands-on workshop, so I don't know whether that's gonna be fully interesting, but here you go. Oh, yes, okay. appropriate reactions. So, this is a buttonhole chisel. Oh, this was, uh, and then this was reproduced uh, by a amazing blacksmith in the UK uh, called David Budd. I will put up his details um, on the Instagram and all that stuff because he's a small business and does amazing tools and can do most amazing artistry things with um, metal. So he's just astounding. So he took it upon himself, uh, through much coaxing, to make buttonhole chisels and he enjoys making them look a bit pretty and stuff, but this is lovely. So this is your friend. So when you do buttonholes, you've probably done them on a machine before and it's like and then with the seam ripper, yeah, leaves threads everywhere, doesn't it? This will not leave threads everywhere, but it will drive you insane. <laughs> <laughs> so, normally uh, what, what you do with this is you'd have a, either on your wooden table, but generally you'd have a piece of wood covered in lead, which you place your cloth on. And because of the sharpness of this, it doesn't need a hammer, doesn't need a mallet, it just needs you pushing. No, no, it's just a push. Why lead? And because it's a soft metal. Mm -hmm. Why not just Because it will end up blunting it. And lead won't. 
Uh, that was my point. Yeah. Okay. No, it's its point. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 I got a bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, I'm big about the Do you want a big button hole? Sure. This is like I mean, I've never made an inbound button hole, but. Oh. I'm doing it anyway. I like a challenge. Because I don't go to them anymore. I there you are. Okay. And then just Overcast. go and cast. Well, it doesn't matter because you'll be turning it around anyway. So you can turn it around whichever way. So I'll show you how I start it. So what you do is you go in. Okay. Now, you're not putting your needle through the other side. It's just what you're doing is you're burying the thread. Yeah. Poking it up the edge. Traveling through, traveling through, traveling through, traveling through. And until it disappears in. Okay, it's hidden, it's in yeah. there. And then you hold it in there. Go to the. Try and get nice and close. And then one, two. Around the needle. And now. And that's your first stitch. And that's why you go around twice, just to keep it all together. And then for this one, you then just go around once. So, round up. Yeah. It's the backwards of a blanket stitch. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hot mess buttonhole peeps. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Guys, I am awful at um, buttonholes. Like just, <laughs> it is a hot mess. It, it looks like I'm drunk. Like super, and drunk and three. Three year old drunk girl making this. I can't, I can't, no. Mm -mm. This is the point at which I gave up. I'm like, no. <laughs> Hot mess. I need 10,000 hours of practice, and it's not happening in a hot French place. <laughs> Hallway bed shots in Paris again. Um, today's vlog was probably like super chaotic for you guys. Um, so I decided that I should recap that for you. Um, okay, so we got up and we went to the fabric district here in Paris, um, which. Oh, we did not have enough time. Like it took a really long time to get there. We didn't really leave until about 10 and then it took like at least a half an hour or so to get there. And then um, we walked through like the, one of the bigger stores with Zach and Jenny and Zach talked to us a lot about historical fabrics and like showed us what is appropriate and what is not appropriate for certain things, um, which was really cool. I bought 15 liters of cotton organdy that was really good quality and was like 10 bucks a yard, so I was like, yes. And then I bought 15 meters of really good quality, like shirt weight linen, um, which you can use for a million different things. So it wasn't like the best price, like I could probably find it for slightly cheaper in LA, but just finding that that particular quality of linen, like it was there in front of me, so I just bought it. Um, it was, I think, $20 a yard. I keep changing my hands. <laughs> That's why I keep moving side to side. Um, yeah, so we did that. We didn't have enough time because we only had like a couple hours to do that and eat and be back for a... Um, workshop with Zach, which I filmed a little bit of, um, to show you. And we ended up like, I didn't know we were going to make something in that workshop. Like I thought he was just going to talk to us about tailoring, but no, we like sat down and immediately started sewing. <laughs> and like, none of us had thimbles or anything, but it was still like super awesome to learn from him. And I learned new stitches that I didn't really know about. Um, and I tried a buttonhole stitch and those of you who saw that on Instagram, it was a hot mess. Um, I guess I showed it here too, but I'm <laughs> like, it was really bad. Um, so clearly I need to make more buttonholes because that is a problem area for me. Or I'm just going to do them on my machine. Although Zach would probably prefer it if I <laughs> spent my time learning to make buttonholes properly. <sighs> anyway, um, then we 
came back and we just went out to dinner tonight and I went out with Kathy and Zach and Jenny and Catherine and we had a good time and um, had a really good meal so that was nice. Um, some of the problems I've like pointed out before happened today and that kind of sucked. A couple people got left behind and whatever because of miscommunications and stuff so um, I'm like trying to think about what I want to say about this. Like, <laughs> in the beginning of this vlog, I was pissed. Like, Paris has been fun, but also very challenging. Um, I like, I don't want to rant constantly in this thing, but like, you know, there's problems with this trip, for sure. Definitely, hotel quality has been all over the place, and I would have just preferred something mid-range and consistent. Um, the lack of relaying of information and making sure everyone has the same information and knows what to do has been a problem. Um, we do have an itinerary, but it's not always 100% accurate and like there's not always all the information on the itinerary for sure. So I just, I really think you need to talk to people and then it's just jetting off without waiting for people. We lost people today a couple times and it was pretty bad. So um, yeah. That's what I have to say about it. <laughs> I hope Bath is a little bit better. It should be much easier because we're just like in one place and then everybody can just sort of wander off on their own. Um, it should be really fun. We're going to Bath. I'm going on a Eurostar tomorrow morning, so I'm packing right now. I'm trying to get everything ready. Um, Jenny, who runs this trip, is a really, really great person. She's a really nice person. Um, she really wants everyone to have a good time and she does go out of her way if you say something to try and like accommodate your needs so i will give her that <laughs> um definitely for sure but it's like the same thing keeps happening over and over again kind of situation um so i just i don't know i wish there was more tour on our tour um bath should be a little bit more we have a promenade in the morning, and then we have a little bit of free time, and then we have dance lesson, and then we have dinner, and we have the um, ball that night, so that's Saturday night. Tomorrow we go to bath, and then I'm not really sure what happens in the afternoon, but I'll look at the itinerary. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna leave this vlog here with this like nebulous, I had a really good time, like I think the problem, what I'm trying to say is like, Instagram can make this trip look amazing, and in some ways it was amazing. Like I saw some really cool stuff. Like I met so many, like I have 13 new friends that I love and adore and want to hang out with forever and ever and like go and visit them in their cities and stuff like that. So that part of it was really great. Um, but it was also the lowest point of the trip for me. Definitely I wanted to leave at the beginning of this. I'm glad I didn't leave to be fair, but um, yeah, I was, I'm pretty disappointed overall, I think. <laughs> like, the things that I thought were going to happen and were, were, were kind of, like, were told to me that were going to happen um, via, like, emails and also uh, what's on the website are just, that's just not what happened. <laughs> so I feel like I spent a lot of money and eight months of my life sewing constantly. Like, I would have dialed that way back and, like, spent more time with my friends, like, I've never had a summer barbecue this year and I usually have them like three or four times by now because I was spending all my time sewing. So I felt like I spent a lot of time and energy of my year getting ready for this trip and a lot, a lot, a lot of money getting ready for this trip. And it was very disappointing and not what I was sold, I guess. What I, when I, when I paid the down deposit, I did not get <laughs> anything near what that was and that really bothered me and like, yeah. The hotels. I mean, the hotels are located in really great places. I'll give you that. But there's a hotel down the street that's $150 a night. That is amazing. So, and not amazing, but like way better than this and definitely comfortable and definitely not, not signs on the wall that you might get robbed. So, you know, I definitely, there are things I would have changed for sure. And it's very frustrating to spend so much money and time of your life and not get the thing that you just thought you paid for because that was the agreement. So that's just where I'm at with it, really. Like, and I'm trying to be like really fair about it because on the one hand, 
I'm upset and a lot of people on this trip are, are upset like a lot of people I mean I go to lunch with people and they're talking about it so um but I also want to be fair and say like you know the people on this trip people who are running this trip do respond to complaints and they do respond to what we're saying but there's things about it that were like sold to us that we there's nothing that they can like we're supposed to go behind the scenes in museums and look at private collections and stuff and <sighs> there's a, like a lot more free time than we were expecting and a lot less um things to do together than we expected and you know we expected to be able to tour europe and like take photos <laughs> and stuff and it's not happening and some of it is in her control and some of it I get, at this point is not in her control like she can't arrange a museum museum collection like visit at this point in the game so even if we gave her that feedback that wouldn't really help right now so there's a feedback form in the end and I'll, I'll fill it out so I just want to be measured and fair about what I say but I was disappointed that's what I'm gonna say like I was really disappointed um, but I'm not disappointed in the people and I'm not disappointed in the chateau and, the, and that sort of thing. I'm just disappointed in the like general lack of care about, it's, it's, it's the thing is she doesn't not care about the group. She totally cares about the group. It's just like, she's not even thinking about it is the problem. And it's just innate, I think. I don't know. I don't really know how to say this. Anyway, and that's all I'm gonna say about it for right now because you know, lots of ranting. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna leave this vlog here, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, um, and subscribe if you haven't, and I will be posting a video from Bath next, from the Jane Austen Festival, and then, which I'm going to only for like two days, and then, um, uh, on to London, so that should be really fun too. So I know that this vlog was probably really chaotic because I was in a lot of places and I didn't do a lot of intros to what we were doing. So I tried to like fill in the gaps for you, but um, Paris was awesome and beautiful and totally weird and stressful <laughs> and a million other feelings and emotions, but that's like part of traveling and it's part of an experience of trusting someone when you sign up for a tour like this, you know, like sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. And some parts of this tour really, really worked out and some parts of it really, really didn't. So I don't think I would do this again. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody because it's not, it's not what I got sold. So I can't recommend it. Like it just wasn't that great. I can recommend her as a human being and I can recommend um, going to these places. I would say get a group of friends and go and costume on your own. Like you can go to the chateau and costume, no question. You don't have to make special arrangements to do that or anything. Um, and then, you know, <laughs> Bath expects you to be in costume. So here we are. So there's no special arrangements needed for anything that we did. Like, honestly, you can book all this stuff yourself. So I would say do that. Anyway, I will see you guys next time, hopefully in slightly better spirits. I will come back to Paris and I will enjoy it and I will bring friends and Chris and uh, I'll invite Kathy um, to try and like, I have had two bad experiences in Paris so far. So like, I need to cleanse my soul of this, but I can say that um, I was very trepidatious of coming to Paris because I came here when I was 17. It was kind of a very awful experience and they were very like rude and mean to me. And I was not, no one was really mean to me in Paris. It was it was actually a really awesome trip in that respect. Like the Parisians are really nice and honestly I spoke English to them like a jackass and they responded mostly in English and when they couldn't they were very helpful anyway. So I do recommend Paris and I want to come back and like experience it with my husband and my friends and stuff. So anyway, I will see you guys from Bath in just a few days. Bye.